Hi again everyone, Scott Pyre Pop Cult Fan here, and in this video, I want to give my thoughts on the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special that was released last Friday. I have watched it, and it's a lot of fun. Um, definitely, it's not necessarily Guardians 2.5, I wouldn't necessarily say that. It, it's, you know, continuing from the events of Avengers Endgame, I think, and also Thor Love and Thunder, because, you know, the Guardians appear at the very beginning of that film. So, uh, and then, you know, when we see Groot in this, he's finally, like, big again, uh, but still not quite the same. Uh, but really cool to see the uh, the Guardians again in this holiday special. And what I liked about it is that, you know, because it's Christmas themed, um, there's a lot of elements in this that can be very easily rewatchable. You know, you can probably watch this, um, you know, like yearly, like like a classic Christmas movie. Um, and it's something very fun. And then also... Uh, and the, uh, a few characters in this. Um, I liked Cosmo the dog. Uh, they actually made the dog female um, in this, and we heard it's uh, the dog's voice, not necessarily coming from the mouth, but like telepathic thoughts in a way, which I thought was rather interesting. Um, so, and it's just um, the premise too was also rather fascinating uh, with, you know, Chris, with Star Lord, uh, you know, Peter feeling sort of down in the dumps and uh mantis and drax want to cheer him up and celebrate christmas for him so what they do um you know mantis you know she thinks of she thinks of uh one of the many people that uh peter has always talked about you know P kevin bacon uh from footloose and the whole thing is about uh, <laughs> her and Drax going to Earth and quite literally kidnapping Kevin Bacon. That was a lot of fun. Um, it was really cool to see Kevin Bacon in this, which is ironic because Kevin Bacon, he was in fact in a Marvel movie once before. He was one of the villains in X-Men First Class. So it was kind of see him, kind of fun to see him in this. And, you know, also because um, he is the one that inspired uh, Peter to do that dance off in front of uh, I think his name was Ronan in the first Guardians uh, and then just a lot of what Peter likes to do listening to music and dancing um, <laughs> it was just really cool to see um, Kevin Bacon uh, and you know basically him being Peter's role model and you could definitely get that feeling that you know as the this special went on we got to see um um, sort of some of the Guardians rubbing off on Kevin Bacon himself, even though he was kidnapped. Uh, and then, you know, at the end of it, um, everyone gets along very fine and good, and that's great. And it was just a lot of fun. And then also, uh, one major twist in this, uh, I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but it involves Mantis and Peter uh, in their relation with Eagle the Living Planet from the second film, uh, I'm not gonna spoil it, but that was also rather interesting, very cool. So, just all of it, just rather fun. And because it's a Christmas themed story, there's a lot of Christmas songs in it, and there's this like kind of alien band uh, in once in a couple scenes of this that performs Christmas songs uh, with what they know of of Christmas. Uh, which was kind of funny. So, yeah, a lot of fun with this. A lot of great music, uh, as always, with the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, projects. Uh, I can't wait for uh, the third film, Volume 3, when that comes out. I think that comes out next year. But, yes, very excited for all of that. And also, in relation to this, today they, they also released a brand new trailer for the Super Mario Brothers movie. Uh, I want to try and do a trailer reaction for it in this video uh i'm gonna try and do something a bit different with this um so i'm gonna go ahead and try and do this reaction and then do something a bit different because last time i tried doing a trailer reaction for this movie uh i got a copyright claim so i'm gonna do something a bit a little bit different here um uh, that might 
and just talk over the trailer as it's playing. So let's go ahead and do this trailer reaction and then I'll wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. So I'll catch you all in a little bit. Here we go. So I'm just gonna have to... Yeah, music's playing. So yeah, I kind of like this little tournament segment here at the beginning. <laughs> Mario, Mario. And the big reveal, Donkey Kong. This goes all the way back to Mario's original appearance in the original Donkey Kong arcade game. Oh my god, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> so yeah, I also put sub subtitles so you guys, guys can see what's being said. <laughs> oh wow, well, uh, the Koopas, and I like this moment. This is a cold moment. Uh, there's one problem, there's a human who has a mustache just like you think and i know every human being with a mustache wearing a mandig uh, with a hat with a letter of his first name on it because i don't something no closer is coming together we oh yeah okay i'll just let the subtitles play but yeah we get princess peach voiced by anya taylor joy um i heard her voice uh she sounded pretty accurate i liked her voice <laughs> That was a funny moment in the trailer. I love, I love, I love all of this. Really, oh, this is really funny. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, oh, and the Tanuki suit, and then you see Peach with the fire plant. Oh, very cool. Oh, this looks so good. Oh my god! There's a lot of galaxies. Yeah, this definitely. I could definitely see a lot of this being inspired by the Galaxy games. And then there's a whole segment at the end of the trailer that shows off uh, Mario Kart. Hey! All the characters were in the Mario Kart. <laughs> the Rainbow Road. Ah! Uh, oh, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Oh my god. Mario Bros. coming out in April. Very nice. Very cool. So excited. Yeah. Alright, well that was the trailer. Uh, definitely really excited for the Super Mario Bros. movie. And I do apologize that I didn't include audio. It's just, uh, you know, with the music, uh, I don't. I just don't want to get a copyright claim. So, m really that's m the main reason for that. Uh, but it looks like a lo quite the fun ride that this movie is going to be. And encompassing not just like the main series games but also side games like mario kart including elements of that in the story that's really cool and it's really cool to see donkey kong princess peach luigi all these characters i, I could definitely see this being like a first film in like a franchise that could definitely build up to something like super smash bros as a crossover film that would be really exciting so uh yeah that should do it for this video wanted to do my thoughts in my review of the galaxy holiday special and uh, oh speaking of uh i think i would probably give that as a grade i'd probably give the holiday special uh an a minus that's my great my grade for uh going to the galaxy holiday special and my thoughts and my reaction to the new trailer for super mario brothers can't wait so that should do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next video Peace.